Yo, it's been a minute. Got a yingling out. So, we just hit, we just hit 5,000 subscribers on the channel. Like that's super badass, so I'm gonna drink to that. Mm. Woo! Been uh, waiting on this day for a while. And I've been putting out more content consistently. Would've hit a while ago. Whatever, I've been dealing with life. Um, just wanted to give you guys a solid update. I uh, hit 5,000. I just wanted to make a video. I haven't had time really to make videos. I mean, I could make time, but the car has been broken. Uh, right now, I'm waiting on FedEx to come to drop off an O2 sensor. So, I have probably four or five videos already edited, ready to go um, for you guys. I just can't release them yet because they're showing new turbo and this and that. I got one that I can show uh, when we put the 5 bar sensor on. And then in that video, I blew up that turbo, the new turbo, and then uh, warrantied it. It's actually the old one's sitting down here. I got another one, uh, but now the motor, like I don't have an O2 sensor hooked up because I broke it putting a new turbo in. It got caught like on the manifold when I was shoving it in and it pulled the wires on my O2 sensor. $200 sensor. Well, I got it from FCP, so at least I have a sensor for a lifetime now. I don't have to pay all that money for it. It is super bright out here, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna fire the car up for you guys without the O2 sensor in. I'm just gonna like sit it in there real quick um, so that the exhaust doesn't go everywhere, but so you guys can hear the noise that I'm talking about. It's not good. It's not good. I'm only gonna fire up for a couple seconds. I brought some tools home from work. Um, that's a whole nother thing we need to talk about. I'm working at Volkswagen now. I worked at one over the bridge down in Virginia Beach for about a month. Couldn't deal with the drive anymore. It was like 40 something minutes there, over an hour back. At the end of the day with traffic and i got a job over here in hampton at the volkswagen i've been there for a little over a month now i take the job it's not enough pay um i'm gonna try and get my pay up otherwise i'm gonna have to leave i've been already signing papers with the recruiter already i'm more than likely gonna get back into the air force not sure what job yet but um, that's probably what's gonna happen i'm about to be 29 in august i only got like another year i think or so left before you know I, I couldn't get back in anymore so I'm thinking about getting back in let's get another decent job out here for the four years that we might be here and then she'll get orders somewhere I'll get out again and find another job wherever we move next time we're thinking trying to get to Oklahoma area but that's either here nor there um so I got blew up a turbo got a new one blew up that turbo and we're on our second you know and that the first turbo I had here that just recently blew up. It's a prototype, so things happen, whatever, whatever. But now the motor's making a really nasty sound, and I'm probably gonna take the timing cover off up top there, take out the cam phasers, or just look in that area, because it, it sounds bad from that area. Like from the timing cover area, right around in here, this is a really terrible tapping sound. So we're gonna try and uh, free that out without showing you guys anything I'm not supposed to show you, but um yeah i'd really like to drive this car tonight if the car comes if the o2 sensor comes i might just say send it even if it is making a little bit of noise i don't know but i want to take this cover off maybe get the cam phasers out i already took the magnets out looked in there and then put it back together but i'm thinking taking the whole cover off and seeing if i can see anything major but uh yeah once again thank you guys 5,000 subs like that's crazy i'd really like to see this channel at like 500,000 eventually i will i really would love to just quit my actual job and do this stuff full time and have a couple project cars and garage and doing racing and building and doing stuff all the time but it's a pipe dream anyway i'm gonna go grab the keys for the car we'll fire up real quick and uh you guys can hear the not so pretty sounds <laughs> so anyway um if the o2 sensor does come like really i can't like i don't know if i take those scan faders out and they're full of metal then what just drive the car till it shits out or what do i do do I just, I mean, either way, I'm going to need a new motor, right? So just run it to the ground, get a stock motor, slap this turbo on, and just tune it to like, I don't know, a little over 500, keep the torque low, and just send it? Or do I, you know, I'm, I'm getting pretty upset. I mean, I know it's not the car's fault. It's not really any direct person or 
thing's fault, just, you know, shit does happen, but it's, like, so frustrating. Like, I put so much time, energy, money to make this car, you know, more or less bulletproof, and then, like, the unthinkable happens. Like, what? Like, what are the chances that, you know, it's so upsetting. I mean, the car is in such a good, like, it's set up so well. I mean, power isn't really, I'm not really crazy about power. Like, it'd be nice to have, you know, tons of power, you know, who, who wouldn't argue with that? But I don't need, you know, 600 horsepower to enjoy this car. I was enjoying it fine at 450, at, you know, whatever, whatever. And like, now that the seats are in, the suspension's set, and there's a whole bunch of weight out of the car, I, I'm, you know, I want to relocate the battery to the back and, you know, do some more safety stuff, and, you know, some aero, better pads up front, but, like, the car is pretty freaking dumb. I just want to drive it and enjoy it and race it, like, do what it was intended to do, and having these issues just makes me want to throw it all away, and then I sit in the car like I am right now, and I'm just like, shit, how can I get rid of this car? I can't. i got to stick with it. Um, I really... I want an RS3. Well, really, I want a TTRS, but, I mean, there's no point in having two two-seater cars. That's so kind of dumb. So an RS3 would be the move. Get rid of the Jeep, get an RS3, and then hopefully she would keep her truck so we have a, something to use the trailer with to take this to events. She doesn't want to keep that for forever. Like, all these different things, so... I don't know. I just hope something good comes out of this or I find a, a cheap stock motor that I can just slap in here over one weekend you know new axle hardware motor mount hardware slap it up to the dog box and just tune it to a good spot E85 and this big old turbo on it and just let her eat you know, I'll be able to drive the car all the time beat the shit out of it like I used to and not have any worries but anyway quit ranting Once the cold starts over, we're gonna hear this nasty cat. Like the sound goes away when it's above like, I don't know, a thousand RPMs. Where are we at right now? 1100? And you don't hear it at all. And everything just sounds, I gotta like not show you guys this turbo. But like it feels normal, like it feels fine. What blows my mind, you would think it goes because it goes away with RPM. So, what could be that bad at idle tapping that bad? I don't I don't get it. So, blow, let's say, like, mess up. I haven't really, I need to take a video on my phone, which I'm gonna do here, send to a couple people. It's super hard to diagnose anything to a phone video. Um, I don't know. I'd really like it's just like a simple, like, let me spend a couple hundred bucks, get it fixed, and then just let her eat. Like, uh, put so much time into this thing I just want to freaking enjoy it especially out here at sea level I've not even gotten maybe 50 miles on the car at sea level in the 85 like jeez okay now you can kind of start to hear you probably can't even tell on video you can like feel it like on this timing cover It's like a, a not so great tapping sound. And once the car gets a little bit warmer, it gets worse. I'm gonna let it idle for a bit. I'll get back on here. It's warmed up a bit. I don't think you're gonna be able to hear. I'm gonna set the camera on top of it. And like, see how much the camera is kind of vibrating here. Sorry, it's so bright. That the motor does not like it vibrates a bit. I mean, it's really not that bad, but it's not normal and it's not good. You, you put your hand on the oil cap and you can feel it like coming right through the oil cap. It's crazy. It kind of seems like the chain is like slapping something, but no telling unless I get this take this cover off, which I'm guess I'm about to do here. So I'm gonna shut the car off. We'll get to it. We'll see what we find. I mean, probably a whole lot of nothing. All right, so I got the cover off here. I was hoping it would just be like this upper guide snapped or something, but everything looks normal. I don't see anything out of place. I wish I could just turn the motor on the way it is right now, but it's just going to sling oil absolutely everywhere. So uh, I'm going to try and take these little phaser things. You see them down there in the center of the cam. I'm going to try and pop those out real quick. Um, 
Yeah, just pop those out and see, see if there's anything wrong with those, I guess. Alright, so left side bad. See how you can see right through it? Right side good. Now you cannot see through that top hole portion. This left phaser oil control valve and the cam, whatever you want to call it, is bad. Uh, these things actually sit inside of this with the filter and a screen. Um, I didn't find any parts like in the motor or anything. Yeah, I did get a little bit of metal in my oil, but uh, nothing to be crazily concerned about, I hope. But yeah, it's just like there's stuff in there. So ECS has them for 104, Shop that has them for a little cheaper. Uh, you know, I work at the dealership, so hopefully I can get them cheaper than that. Or maybe there's some like older heads sitting on the rack. I think they're just spare parts or whatever. So maybe uh, maybe they have some. So come Monday, I'll find out and uh, get get some ordered. And there you go. Hopefully that's it. Um, if you guys remember a while back when we were sorry, my shirt's off. It is hot out here. Um, when we were first started tuning and stuff, well, even now, it would be like breaking up, uh, what was it, like the higher 3000s? Like mid, mid to high 3000s, either way, in the 3000s somewhere. I think that's about, somewhere in there is when the cam changes over. I think that may have been going bad um, over time, and now it just, it finally failed. So, um, hopefully it'll fix that issue, and I did get a cam code once, so hopefully this is no more. Like, replace this, we'll be done. Uh, shout out to the homie I work with. Uh, what was his name? Brian. Brian said, check your cam phasers. And I was like, tired of not having to run a car. So, came home today, pulled them out. There we are. So, hopefully, 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 be another week or so, get some parts in, slam these babies back in, get a new cam cover seal, and we'll be making money. That's hope. Really, really hope. I'm going to close this video out here. Um, like I said, I still have like five at least five videos like already ready to go a turbo install first drive five bar what else turbo unboxing i think there's another one so i mean as soon as i'm allowed to like talk about this turbo more those videos will be out once the car is fixed we'll be back to doing things actually go take the car to its first meet here and go do some i think there's autocross this weekend we're missing out on and I missed probably three events already since I've been here. So, I mean, we'll be late to the season, but that's fine. I don't really, I mean, I do care, but as long as I get to play some. Like I said, I haven't even been able to race at all down here in the sea level. Like, so hopefully this is it. And we'll be back to making some jam. So, anyway. Thanks again. Made 5,000. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip flop.